I don't know, yeah. Good, how are you doing? Got your turkey hunting stuff already, I see. This is a new, new little puffer jacket I got. I thought I'd go ahead and try it out. Yeah. What's that, yeah. a coast of hat? I seen you wear it last night. What's that? What is it? Hey, Edward, how are you? That's actually just a mossy oak hat. But this stuff is cool. Yeah. So y'all be sure to tune in next Sunday morning. This is our church on the road. This is the way I like it. It's good. No snowstorm. It's Sunday. Falls on our first practice today. So we're going to... Uh, and our weather's going to deteriorate as this to week's going on. No, I know. We're chasing it, winter. At first it looked really, yeah. really good. I know, you know, I know. I'm handing it over to Cam Dude. Okay. <laughs> Cameraman out. Here we are. Fishing church starts in 30 seconds. I got my old man glasses. Hey, let's do something. Yeah. Look over there where you're using the light. Perfect. <laughs> 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 Getting all up in. Parents watch this. I've got a quick message to share this morning. Uh, scripture that uh, a couple mornings ago was in my devotion that spoke to me. And but if anybody has anything they'd like to share this morning, feel free to uh, chime in. Anything at all. Uh, the scripture that I have is in Proverbs 12. I'm going to start in uh, verse 15 read down to uh, verse 28 and let me just preface this by saying <clears throat> encouragement really does a heart good to somebody when we encourage them whether it be our kids uh, friends co-workers other Christians whatever lifting somebody up does something special to them uh, if you look at, look back on documentaries of athletes, I watched one recently on Netflix of Michael Jordan. I'm a big one. I like watching Michael Jordan, and I watched that special one. And he always refers to special coaches and people in his life, whether it be parents or whatever, that lifted him up, and it made a difference. And it can change the whole trajectory of a young man's life or a young lady's life by just uh, an encouraging word. And uh, I'll share with you real quick a quick testimony of somebody that was special in, uh, in my life that way. But first I'm going to read the, the verses. The way of the fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto the counsel is wise. A fool's wrath is presently known, but a prudent man covereth shame. He that speaketh truth sheweth forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. There is that speaketh like the... Uh, piercings of a sword but the tongue of the wise is health the lip of truth shall be established forever but a lying tongue is but a, a moment deceit is the heart of them that imagine evil but to the counselors of peace is joy there shall no evil evil happen to the just but the wicked shall be filled with mischief lying lips are abomination to the Lord but they that deal truly are his delight. A prudent man counseleth knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaimeth foolishness. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. And that's the verse that really stood out to me. I'm going to read it one more time. Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop. And some illustrations in the Bible uh, talk about anxiety in the heart of man causes uh, fear or, or whatever. Uh, there's different uh, 
translations that, that talk about but uh, heaviness or anxiety in the heart of man maketh it stoop, sad, whatever. But a good word maketh it glad. And that's what I was talking about um, early on in my childhood. Uh, there was people, some people in my life early on that, you know, compared me a lot with other kids. Some important people in my life um, kind of put me down at times whenever I really needed something good. Like if it would be a competition or uh, whatever, and I would be looking for some instructions. Well, he seemed to be hitting the ball really good, or that guy seemed to be doing a whole lot better, or I'm struggling in a certain area in my education or whatever. Well, he seems to be making straight A's. Why can't you? You know, it was a constant putting down. And then when I became a Christian early on, a mentor in my Christian life, man, he was nothing but an encouragement. He never put me down, lifted me up, told me that I was destined for good things in life. Uh, God loved me. He sent his son to die for me. You know, when we really look at the ultimate uh, ruler over us, he shows us our worth. He shows us what we he uh, what we mean to him. He died to pay the penalty. You know, he shed his blood for us. So, uh, Brother Bill Garner, early on in my life, was uh, he he changed my life. He he gave me that positiveness, and he gave me that want to live for something and something to live for. And, and you know, so it's just a I guess a an encouragement to uh, anybody that if you're if whether you have kids uh, especially if you have daughters there's going to be a guy out there that's going to tell her the right things that you know if you're <clears throat> constantly putting her down and and what have you there's going to be guys that that want that are going to tell her the right things and you know might take her in a wrong direction or a young man that's in sports or or whatever man an encouraging word Make it, it's going to make his heart glad. It's going to, you know, change his life. And, uh, there's some other verses in the Bible that uh, that are kind of cross references to this. Uh, I've asked Little Alton and uh, Andy to <coughs> share some of them. I'll go ahead. Uh, the first one is Proverbs 12:26. A righteous man is cautious in friendship, but the ways of the wicked lead them astray. The other one is Proverbs 15, 13. A joyful heart makes a cheerful countenance, but a sorrow heart crushes the spirit. And then the last one is Isaiah 50, verse 4. The Lord God has given me the tongue of discipleship to, 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 to sustain the weary with the word. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ears to listen as a disciple. Yeah, Mark's pretty brave. I'm probably the worst reader out here. <laughs> and one time in high school, I mispronounced idiot. I said I dot. But it starts with an I. I-D-I-O-T. I dot. And they made fun of me instead of encouraged. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect word. Yeah. Here we go. Proverbs 15, 13. The Proverbs 17:22. A merry heart doeth good like medicine, but a broken spirit. See, there you go. Break the bones. <laughs> But, Proverbs 12, 18, There is the speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue is wise in health. That's good. Proverbs 15, 23, A man hath his joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoketh in due season. How good is it? Proverbs 16, 24, Pleasant, pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bone. Yep. The tongue's a wicked thing, man. It can destroy somebody. And so many verses in the Bible, I could go on and on. You know, we could find a lot of verses in there that go right along with this. But I guess the the word out of today is encourage one another. Your kids, your anybody, your friends, your family, your parents, uh, lift them up. Let them know how much you love them, care for them, and how special they are. Uh, young Christian, you see, see somebody that, that just got saved, uh, man, lift them up. I try to every time, whether I'm at a different church, some, whoever I don't, 
if I know somebody comes to know the Lord, man, I, I just go and put my arm on their shoulder and encourage them. Let them know that's the greatest decision that they've ever made. And, uh, yeah, how much God loves them and how, how, how special that moment is for them. And mm -hmm. Good things are, are to come. Anybody have anything else they'd like to share? Anything at all? You're An so encouraging good. word? <laughs> No, that was, that was great. I think it's very great, timely, and yeah. Great message. Aunt yeah. and Andy, man, they've been super encouraging to me over the last few weeks. I just want to say thank you to them. They've been amazing. Some of it's through talking down to him, but it's really in love, <laughs> brotherly love. Most of the time, ain't it? Yeah, it is. They, 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 they <laughs> that's a compliment. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if we've encouraged him that much that he didn't need it this week or or, or what, but he, he, he chose to stay somewhere else this week. We had a spare bed, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't forget, next Sunday morning we're having Fishing Church. Uh, Alton Sr. will be speaking on uh, Championship Sunday. So y'all be sure and tune in. It'll be uh, 6 40, is takeoff 7.30? Takeoff at 7.30. It'll be 6.45. Here at Wolf Creek, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Anybody else? Prayer requests. Continue. Jenny's, up, Edwin. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome Jenny's got a little cold stuffy to something going on. Nothing major, but just, yeah, just a little, a little cold. Yeah. Uh, Mark Daniels Jr. recently lost an aunt. Is that right? Or a sister in law? Sister in law, was it? God knows who's yeah. recently lost a family member. We want to lift up him up and uh, Martin's family. Martin's family. <laughs> Leslie. Yeah. His mom, kids up. I'd say his safety for everybody driving back and forth this week. It's gonna be a crazy week. Yeah. Families traveling in. Yeah. Safety on the water. You know, we haven't had anything bad go wrong in, in a long time out here fishing. God's been good to us. He's blessed us. Yes, he has. Mark, I saw there was a boating accident at Bainbridge, Georgia yesterday. About a two turn ago. There was a fatality. Mm -hmm. So. out in prayer i'll be glad to okay. lord we just come to you this morning lord just thanking you for uh for allowing us to be here and and to be able to gather together lord we thank you for the freedom to do so and lord we uh we, we lift up every one of these prayer requests we know that you know what's needed in each and every situation lord we pray for those for for comfort that have lost loved ones lord our, our friends and fellow anglers and lord just all those that uh that, that we know that are that are grieving and lord just pray that you'd be with them and their families and lord just comfort them as the way only you can lord for those that are asking for healing lord we just we pray that you'd work in their lives in a mighty and powerful way we know that you are the ultimate healer and that all things are possible through you so lord we pray that you would work uh, work miracles in their lives whether that's for tumors or for just general health or anything lord we know that you can do all things so lord we ask that you would do that and Lord, we do pray for safety for us and, and our families this week. Be with them while we're away from them. But Lord, the ones that are traveling in, we pray that you would give them all safe travels to be here with us. And uh, Lord, just for this week, and uh, that, you know, that Lord, that this tournament would go in a way that would glorify you and that whoever, whoever that you decide to bless with that, Lord, that they would return that favor and that glory all to you as you deserve it. So Lord, we just thank you so much for this opportunity lord we thank you for allowing us to be here we thank you for mark and for the word he prepared and lord just that we would take that word and encourage each other if that's fellow anglers or people that we meet at the gas station wherever it may be lord that we would be an encouragement and a light in this world so lord, we ask all these things in jesus name amen, amen.